So Allah answers Musa. It says, Musa, tonight you have to stand the whole night and you have to hold two glass bottles and you can't sleep. So Musa being a prophet, he does as instructed. He stands up holding his two glass bottles. The first part of the night passes by, his eyelids are getting heavy. And before the night could finish, he fell asleep, he falls to the floor and the glass bottles come crushing down. So the angels, they returned to Musa and they said, they said, oh Musa, if Allah was to sleep, but just for a moment, the seven heavens would come crushing down onto the earth like your bottles smashed the floor. You think Allah needs you, my brothers and sisters? You think Allah needs me? I want to ask you something sincerely. Has Allah ever let you down once? Really? Has Allah ever let you down? He created you from nothing. There was a time Lam yakun shay'an mathkura. Allah says you were not even in existence, you were not even in history, your mention wasn't even being made, you were nothing. I got brothers and sisters who walk around with a big chip on their shoulder. Allah says you were, there was a time you were nothing. You were not and Please forgive me, I know it's a bit vulgar, I know the sisters in the back, but really, if I can't speak truth, then what are we here for? Inter Everything you have, where did that come from? Who gave it to you? I want you to imagine that you bring a little baby home, a helpless child, and you found that outside it was cold, it was maybe naked, and so you seen this baby and you ran and you put a blanket over it and you brought this baby home and you sheltered it and you, you know, and you clothed it and you fed it and you were there every single step of the way. You changed its diapers when it needed it. You took it to the hospital when it was sick. And you were there and you never failed this child. Never. Not once did you ever fail it. And the joy on your face when they took their first steps and the joy in your heart when they started to eat on their own and the happiness when they started to put words together and create sentences then when this child that you gave your life to now that they could walk on their own and talk on their own you ask them for a favor you ask them for a small request and they turn around and they tell you I'm too busy leave me alone man you know, my brothers, maybe because of the corruption of the heart and the societies that we live in, they led us to believe that to see, you need healthy eyes. No, you're wrong. There are millions of people who have eyes, but they can't see. It is Allah that allows you to see, not your eyes. And to hear you think, man, you need a pair of ears. I tell you, you're wrong again, for there are millions around the world who have ears, but they can't hear. What is it, my brothers and sisters, that has kept you away from Allah? What, your car? Your money? What, your business? You know, sometimes, and of course Allah is above any example, but sometimes I think, how does Allah feel? I gave him all these things. I gave her all these things. And instead of thanking me and showing me gratitude, they don't have time for me. And still, and still subhanahu wa ta'ala above all this, he still doesn't let you down.